Hi, this is Tim Huckabee from Internology for Bytes by MSDN. Today our guest is a pillar of the .NET industry, Rocky Latka from Magenic. Rocky, thanks a lot for coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, I know you pretty well. I know you're bought into the Silverlight thing. Can you elaborate on it? Well, I really have. I'm, I'm totally stoked about Silverlight. And I, I guess to me, the, the center of it is, is I like building distributed applications. Um, I like thinking about building an app where parts run on different computers and <laughs> talk to each other. Okay, I know it's complicated, but that's, I get, it, I, that's why I get up in the morning, right? And, and so to me, Silverlight, um, offers me this ability to, to build smart client or I can run code on the client and run code on the server and they can interact um, with free deployment, right. right? I mean, that's that's the thing. It's it's like the, the best of the web plus the best of Windows um, all in one little shiny package. Yeah, I happen to totally agree with you. Now, I also heard that you're bought in the model view, view model pattern, whereas you weren't always. <laughs> that's true. Uh, if you go back four or five months ago, I guess I blogged uh, pretty negatively about the pattern um, because I'd looked at some implementations of MVVM and, and frankly, I thought, geez, this is making things harder. I'm going to write more code, more complexity, and they tell me it's more testable, but is that really a net win if I've got to write three times as much code? I, I don't see it. So I did that blog. and and. Then a couple people uh, took exception. I suppose <laughs> luminaries in the space, right? right? You know, and so I thought, well, geez, you know, there's some smart people that are telling me that it's actually good. So I really dug into it, um, and I spent uh, the last four months or so actually making my CSLA framework support it um, in, I think, a really nice way. The conclusion I've come to is this: if you do it right it saves you a huge amount of code and a lot of work and makes your code more testable. And in other words, it's all good. Um, sadly, if you do it wrong, and I've seen a lot of people, at least in my view, doing it wrong, it does make it a lot harder. A lot more code, a lot more effort, and okay, so yeah, it's testable, but you can't tell me that it's a win when you're writing that much more code and complexity. Right. Um, but if you do it right, and it, it's, I, I think it's going to sweep the uh, the XAML world, WPF and Silverlight both. As we get more and more examples of the right way to do it, uh, you know, uh, it's going to be the only way people approach this problem. And while we're on this XAML world, the XAML world is one of those unique places where the, the .NET developer who hasn't jumped in yet is a little bit uncomfortable because there's a number of tools. <laughs> That's true. Right, and we're used to s spending most of our time in Visual Studio. And the, the second part B to that question would be, in, can Dev 10, uh, Visual Studio 2010, can it do it all? Can it do it all? Um, I don't believe in silver bullets, but um, certainly today, when I sit down to build a Silverlight app in, in uh, Visual Studio 2008, the first thing I do is turn off the XAML designer which is sad. Yeah. But, but I mean, what else can you do? And well, you could get crashes. And you get crashes. Pain. And, but, but if you turn it off, you use the text editor, it's fast, it's snappy. And of course, that implies that I'm typing my XAML by hand. In Notepad, essentially. And, and well, with IntelliSense. Yeah, Notepad know. with IntelliSense. But, um, but it's not compelling. I mean, really, I, I understand people not jumping into it, you know. Um, and I think Visual Studio 2010, um, having been working with the beta and, and some of the earlier releases, um, I really think that, that they hit it on the head. Um, CIDR especially, the design yeah. time, the, the, what the, do we call this What thing? you see is what you get right. uh, designer. The way I think about it is that it's really the Windows Forms uh, designer experience brought to, uh, brought to XAML. The productivity of Windows Forms in WPF and Silverlight. Well, because you got the data sources window, you go grab an object, drag it onto the form, it paints the all the data binding and, and controls. It, it really is, it's, it brings, I think, a lot of parity to where a Windows Forms developer has been. Um, boom, here we go, and they're, and they're ready to build Silverlight apps. So um, are we ready yeah. to give up on tools like Blend and the Expression Suite and oh, XAML Cruncher? Not at all. Okay. I, you know, I, as a developer, um, I would re prefer to, right? I, I'd rather stay in Visual Studio, right. and, and I think I'll be able to. But certainly Magenic has a bunch of graphic designers in our Magenic Studio. They use Blend and all these other tools that, honestly, I find kind of intimidating. 
Um, and, and that's fine. They, they go off and they make things look beautiful and, and I make them work. <laughs> <laughs> you and, do and, the C and, sharp, they do the, the UI. They, so. they do the UI and, and I think it's a, a nice, but, but I think at the same time, uh, for, especially for business development, um, you don't always have a designer. And so at least having the basic ability right. uh, to create a decent looking functional something. screen. Yeah. Totally um, agree. Just inside of, of Visual Studio 2010. Uh, you know, that's perfect. Outstanding. That, that's a, that was a very interesting peek, little peek into your world. Thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you for watching.